Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create the all new tab navigator in React Navigation version 2. So to begin with, as always, I have an empty React Native project that I've created with the Expo and I've opened up my project in my favorite text editor, Visual Studio Code. So let's start by installing React Navigation. Here I have the terminal opened up. Let's type npm install React Navigation. This will automatically install the latest version. Once that's installed, just run npm install again and then restart your project and you should be good to go. So in version one of React Navigation, if we had to create a tab navigator, we would do something like this, which is import tab navigator from React Navigation. However, in version two, we have three different ways of creating our tab navigator. They are the create bottom tab navigator, create material bottom tab navigator, and create material top tab navigator. The reason create bottom tab navigator was created was because if you created a tab navigator on Android and iOS earlier, on Android, it would show on the top and on iOS, it would show on the bottom. There would be some configuration differences. So you'd have to change them up to make them look the same. However, with create bottom tab navigator, they look identical on both devices. The create material bottom tab navigator and create material top navigator gives you the material design theme for your tab navigators, which is basically for Android. There's one important thing to note over here, and that is that in the create bottom tab navigator and material bottom tab navigator, the swipe enabled and animations enabled options are now removed. So you'll not be able to swipe between the screens and also there will be no animation when you click on the tabs. Only in the create material top tab navigator will you have the option to swipe between the tabs. This is quite a disappointing change, but however, it is a design decision taken by the guys at React Navigation. So let's start creating our first app navigator. I'll be testing this app on my iPhone 10 simulator. However, I also have my Android phone running side by side. If there's anything that's different on Android, I'll let you know. So we'll start by importing the create bottom tab navigator. From react navigation. Now, instead of export default app, let's export default our create tab navigator. So let's say create bottom tab navigator. Let's call the first screen home and let it point to a screen called home. And let's call the second screen settings, which points to settings. Let's create these two here. Let's change the app to home. Let's duplicate that and create settings here. I'll just change the text here so that it's easier for us to know that the tab is changed. Let's save that out. And there we already have our first tab navigator. By default, the first tab mentioned over here is the first screen. And if we click on settings, we go onto the second screen. As you can notice over here, we're using a shorthand syntax that's available to us in React Navigation 2. Earlier, we do something like screen and then point to the screen. And that would still work. We leave it like this because this will allow us to put in options for our particular tabs. So let's put in icons on our tabs. At the top here, let's import icon from react native vector icons slash ionicons this is already available to us in expo now come down here in our tab we just put a comma here and put in something known as navigation options this is the same as it was in react navigation one we'll put in a tab bar label here which is currently taking the name of the screen but we can change it to anything we want we'll just leave it as home right now and we'll put in a tab bar icon it will take a property called tint color and it will return an icon of name iOS home and let's give it a size of 24. Let's save that out. As you can see, we're getting an icon. As of now, we've not put in the tint color. That's why I've not passed it in over here. The same thing we'll do for settings. And the icon we'll pass in over here will be iOS settings with a size of 24 again. And here I got these brackets wrong. These should be rounded brackets since we're returning a React component. And as we can see here, we've got our two icons with labels. Just to show that this works, we can just change this to setting and you'll be able to notice here that it's changed to setting. So we have a set of navigation options that are specific to the particular tab. We also have navigation options that are applicable to the complete tab navigator. So coming here outside our tab navigator, let's put in two curly braces and over here we can put in navigation options. And here we can do something like tab bar visible. 
And if you want, you can set it to false user conditional to decide if you want to show the tab bar or not. For now, we'll just leave that to true. By default, it's also true. For more options, you can refer to the docs. So apart from the navigation options, we also have two other things. One is the router config in which above the navigation options only, we can put in initial route name and we can set the initial route that we want. So we can say settings. As you can see, it's made settings as the first route. Also, we have another way of doing this, which is using something known as order in which we can put in settings as the first tab and home as the second tab. As you can see, we've made the initial route name as settings and also it has changed the order of the tabs and made settings the first tab. So this is something known as router config. These are the navigation options that apply to the complete tab navigator. And these are the navigation options that are for the individual tab. The last thing that's left is something known as tab bar options. This can be used to style the tab bars. So as you remember, we'd put in tint color over here. So over here we have options known as active tint color. We can make that as red and we can say inactive tint color and make that gray. Now if we save that, we see that the text colors have changed. The active one becomes red and inactive one is gray. Let's pass that in here to our icon. So let's say color is equal to tint color. And there we can see our icon color has also changed. So just a quick recap, we've created our two tabs. We've created our create bottom tab navigator with our two tabs. Each tab has its own navigation options with which we're setting the label, which is displayed here and the icon, which is displayed above that. We're also passing a tint color, which we set in the tab bar options for the complete tab navigator here at the bottom. We also have something known as navigation options for the complete tab bar to set options like the tab bar visible. If you want, you can also set icons over here using conditionals. And lastly, we have something known as the router config, which helps us set up the initial route name and also the order of the tabs. I hope this makes the create tab bar navigator very clear to you. I'll cover the material tab bar navigator in the next video. Till then, you guys can try this out. And please like and subscribe and also share this video. Thanks for watching.